Fault your overcall, Jay. You're welcome indeed to another edition of the program. Well, this week we're coming to you from the Castle Leisure Club Castle Bar, which is leading the way with a brand new over 50s hub gym, targeting everybody over 50, right up to people over 90, to enjoy physical workouts through the use of power assisted exercise machines. The specialised Hello Good Life Health and Wellbeing Hub, the first of its kind in Ireland, was officially opened by Minister Hildegard Nocton. We're on the, the grounds of the old Casper Baker factory here, Henry, and 35 years ago my dad would have bought um, the Baker factory when it closed down with no real agenda in the planning, but um, we quickly decided we'd open a bowling alley. Uh, we used to regularly go to Galway bowling and thought, you know, why not have one in Castle Bar? Um, we opened it in 1993, November 93, and we kind of added on over the years um, to here we are now 30 years later. So we have Mayo Leisure Point, which is where our bowling alley is, and we have a kids play area down there, we have laser, we have video games, we have a full snack area. 25 years later we opened um, Mayo Movie World which we have a seven screen cinema there showing all the latest movies and you know great place to be. Uh, we also have Hogs Heaven Bar uh, which opened about 26 years ago and we have Garbo's Venue and then 23 years ago we opened Castle Leisure Club so there's never a dull moment in this place. Um, and you're employing a lot of people, local people as well. We are yeah so we have a lot of staff but we have a lot of great staff and we have a lot of great managers that pretty much are with us since we opened and that's the key to this business you know entertainment family we're family run business we've got great family support from our staff and um, and it's all about entertaining families and you know and um, that's the key to, to being in you know in the in the entertainment business really you know and I suppose uh being so successful means you have to be kind of thinking ahead and being innovative and you've come up with this uh, in, con in conjunction with Martina Calvi, this new concept here and now at uh, the Leisure Centre here. Yeah, we have. So Castle Leisure Club, as I said, opened 23 years ago and we would have had a beautiful swimming pool here. Um, we had a, right we have a huge, right here. where we're standing, yes, yeah. we're standing on the swimming pool. Um, and we have a fabulous leisure centre, uh, gym upstairs and we have um, aerobics studio. Uh, steam room, sauna, jacuzzi, and then we were complimented with Kachina Spa was upstairs. So for 23 years we have been running very nicely together um, and I suppose over the last few years with Covid and the opening and closing of pools and gyms and the kind of, you know, the insurance and the cost of keeping a pool indoor heated in this country just became, t you know, basically spiralled on us. And, you know, our biggest, our biggest, um, I suppose, um, uh, stipulation was nearly we have to find something if we do close the pool because we have so many members here that have been with us for 23 years they're all in you know they're maybe 50 60 70 age group they're like here every week it's like a family coming in they all know each other and we didn't want to lose that because we wanted to be able to still provide some form of exercise and some form of social gathering for them so um, when we took that big decision and informed them of the pool I mean obviously everybody was heartbroken we were heartbroken they were heartbroken but Martina Calvi came literally at that time with the solution to our, you know, kind of where we're going to go next and what we can develop on the pool area next. And it has just been, like, as I said, it was a godsend, really, because she came with just exactly what we were looking for. And you no doubt from the beginning that uh, this wouldn't work here in, in the complex. Yeah, no doubt that she, I would know Martina from Network Mayo and we've met a few years ago and she just, um, gave me a message one day and said, Cora, I've got a you know, proposition maybe you might be interested in it. And um, I kind of said, yeah, no problem, we'll meet up. And literally the minute she said what it was about and showed me the brochures and the machines on the brochures, I just knew straight away, I said, this is exactly what I've been looking for. Well, what started me on this journey, Henry, were my own underlying health conditions and issues. And um, it brought me to England where I um, discovered what was actually happening there and all throughout Europe. And that caused me then to create this concept that's here, the Hello Good Life Health and Wellbeing, uh, which we make available as franchise uh, to gym and leisure centre owners, uh, to community groups who could draw down funding, um, or to nursing homes, care homes, whatever. And the idea is that there's the 12 machine circuit, it's power assisted exercise, and it is for, it's targeting people uh, over 50 up to people over 90. So within that demographic, you have people who are perfectly healthy, their health is intact, and it's a reasonable expectation 
that people within that demographic have had some health challenges or their health is compromised in some way, maybe an underlying condition, stroke, cardiac, Parkinson's, MS, some form of arthritis, whatever, post-surgery. And these machines, this circuit, the hub is absolutely perfect for that. I could feel the benefits straight away. But what was really impactful was when I was meeting the people who were using, the, they're called active wellbeing suites in the UK or feel good factories. And I spoke to people, for example, a man who'd had a stroke, and this is a year later, and the man cried when he told me of how he had, what he had, you know, how he had benefited, how he'd improved, and even for his family life, how it had improved. Um, and on and on and on. I kept meeting people, people anywhere in their 60s, 70s, 80s, man 94, I've spoken about it before, just so healthy and well, bouncing around from one machine to the other. And, you know, it was just such a brilliant concept in the sense of how people were genuinely benefiting. And there are people out there who feel unseen and have these health, you know, that where their health is compromised. And I suppose, I just, myself and Seamus, we just couldn't leave it after us. I just knew it was something that should be available here to people. And I'm so delighted that, you know, we have the concept, we've created the franchise, and that the Mulroys are the first family who have installed a hub here, run it as their business in their gym. I'm the head of business development for Innova. Uh, we make a range, the range that you see today, of power assisted exercise equipment. And that's the unique equipment that uh, has come here to the health and well being hub at uh, Castle Leisure Club. And uh, you're, you're up and running in the UK, in Scotland, indeed in Europe. We are. So we have uh, leisure centres all around the UK. So centres which uh, see the need to attract the active ageing uh, population to leisure centres because most leisure centres focus on the younger people who are already looking for a health and well-being solution just to use the gym but we really need to get older people and people with long-term conditions into regular uh, preventative physical activity so we have loads of sites in the UK we have uh, sites in care homes uh, and in hospitals as well and then around Europe as you say uh, really successful with a brand called Feelgood in Norway and Austria and Germany and then in France as well and we've just started in uh, in the Netherlands too and we're really pleased to be here in Ireland now tell me a little bit about yourself hi I'm Stephanie Coffey I'm from Ballyhonas which is about 45 minutes away from here I was diagnosed with MS in 2019, February 2019. Um, in the last year, my walk has gone. I have my trusty friend here beside me. And I was on my way down to Castlebar with my son, uh, who was autistic and is in Count Me In in Castlebar. So I was listening to the radio, Midwest Radio, on the way down and uh, heard Cora and Cora talking on the radio about this. So then I heard that I came in to inquire about it and they were doing free sessions. So I came in last week and I was ecstatic leaving. I used to go to the gym four days a week, five days a week, maybe twice some days. And I put on an awful lot of weight with um, steroids and medication and everything. And of course they keep saying lose the weight, but when you can't move, how do you lose weight? So when I came in here last week to try everything out, I was like, sign me up, sign me up quick. I was so positive. My goal is to have this gone by Christmas. Yeah. That I can walk and have a bit of weight. Because I know if I lose a bit of weight that um, I will be able to move better and everything. But at the, and my muscles won't be wasting away either, which is the big thing. Because I'm sitting a lot of the time. Like even to walk around the shops now, I would have to sit on this, Do you know, it's not that I need it for the walking, it's my back goes. So with the muscles being tightened up and everything else, I'm hoping. I have big, big dreams for this place, for me. <laughs> okay, Helen, so this particular machine now is for targeted areas. Absolutely, this is going to work Stephanie's chest and her legs. And when she keeps her back straight on the machine, it's also going to work all her abs and her core muscles as well. So how does it work now? So we're going to ask Stephanie to pop her legs onto the machine here. Okay. She's going to put her hands onto the lower handlebars there. And I'm going to switch it on on the medium setting. Okay. Once that starts, 
the machine will automatically start moving, Stephanie's arms will go forward and back, and her legs will go up and down. Okay? Are you okay for me to start? Yes. Stephanie? So we'll just tap the screen once, and we're going to put it onto the medium setting. Okay? And we'll, then it will start moving itself. Okay? So that's currently going on its own. Okay? With minimum exertion from Stephanie. All right? If Stephanie takes her hands off, you will see the machine is still moving itself. Okay? Pops her hands back on. Okay? We can increase and decrease the speed. Okay? So if we increase it, it's going to increase Stephanie's heart rate. She's going to get a cardio workout. Okay, Stephanie? Yeah. Is that okay? Does that feel comfortable? Okay, great. Okay? Then we'll decrease it. Back to medium. Are you okay if we go on to the slow? Yeah. Okay? So we're going to go on to the slow. And you will see by Stephanie's reaction that, she, that this is tougher. You can see she is really yeah, yeah. having to pull back and she's really having to push those legs down. Okay? And so how long does this last then? This machine will run for two and a half minutes. All of the machines will run for two and a half minutes. It will be very polite and it will tell you when it's slowing down, it will tell you when it's stopping and then it will tell you when to dismount and you don't dismount any of the machines until it tells you because obviously the parts are moving and we don't want you to trip So basically this machine is called our flies and thighs. So this one it'll benefit um, your inner thighs, your outer thighs, it'll help with your waist, your glutes, and then you'll also be working out the upper bodies and the arm as well, and then the upper back as well. So basically you're pushing the arms on the way in, and then pushing the arms on the way back, and then the legs then as well, you're pushing the legs on the way in, and then pulling them then on the way out basically. So we have the three modes, we have fast, medium and slow. The fast is kind of the one for the cardio, so it'll help you work up a sweat, get the heart rate up and lose a bit of weight. And then the medium then is the middle ground, where you'll be um, using more muscle and tone in the body, whereas the slow then is just pure muscle, you're really, really working out on that one basically, yeah. And how long does that process last? So basically each machine is wired to two and a half minutes. So you do two and a half minutes on each machine. So it'll take roughly about 40 minutes so, and you have the whole, um, the whole circuit done. So you have every muscle in the, in the body basically worked out at the end of it. And would you recommend everybody do the full circuit? Yeah, so basically to get the full benefit, you have to finish the whole circus. You can't come in and just say, start off on one machine, go to the next one. You have to, they're all set around in the same order. So you have to go in the order that it's, um, it's given in basically and finish the full circus. So you're trying out one of the machines today. I am, yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you find it? I find it very good, very good. You can put in as much effort as you want or as little effort as you want. Yeah. And if you were using these machines, what would be the benefit for you? Um, just, I don't know, it's just, it, it, just it feels like you work in every muscle. It's such a variety of machines and then there's opportunity of tea and coffee afterwards as well. Yeah. So it's a, it's a social aspect too. Social aspect too, yeah. 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 And in fact, it's the first in Ireland. Yes, absolutely. It's a great achievement for them all. Well, Seamus, you've uh, been on this journey with Martina since the beginning. Since the very beginning is right, yeah. We were basically looking for some exercise for Martina that she could do. And the journey led us to England and Nerva, And we found these wonderful sweets in, in the UK. We were talking to David with the Nerva. And we couldn't leave it after us. We had to, we had to bring it back home with us. Like, and hopefully there'll be many more of these sweets rolled out around the country now. And you see a difference already with Martina from using these facilities. Oh, definitely. Yeah, her, her mobility, everything has improved greatly. Like her, her mood, her every, everything. Like it just lifts the spirit and lifts the body as well. Like it's, it's brilliant. Like. And you have your own role to play with uh, this, you're preparing a plan for somebody that's interested in taking on this project. Yes, uh, any, any other place that's interested in a project like this, we can, um, we can design the suite for them, roll it out, whatever they need. Um, we bring in the equipment, we install it, um, but whatever basically anyone needs, we'll, we, we offer it. Like. And are you getting much interest from around the country when people knew this was opening in Castlebar? 
yes, there's a few a few callers now already, like, and it, it's it's brilliant, like. Um, hopefully now we will we roll it out over the country now, and it's it'll go well now. I, I know it'll go well because everyone everyone needs a hub like this or a centre like this. And you already get great reaction from people here from today at the official opening. Brilliant reaction. Everyone is every, everyone is very happy with it now, and people couldn't be more positive about it like from all walks of life be whatever age group health conditions everything it's it's fantastic Yes, uh, as Minister with responsibility for um, mental public health and well-being, this is really a fantastic example of enabling local communities to get active, get physically active, and to make it a social activity as well. And really, what the focus in my department is about prevention, keeping people healthy, getting them active, um, and looking at what's needed in different communities. This is a really good example of a family business who have adapted their sports facility uh, into something for particularly old adults, people with chronic illness, uh, giving them the confidence to get moving and if they're feeling you know, you know, know, unsafe or, or after treatment or they have any chronic conditions, they can help and uh, facilitate them to slowly get back and be active and I think the sense of empowerment that gives is absolutely wonderful and this is something that you know, I, I really think is very positive for the local community here in Castle Bar. You tried out one or two pieces of equipment here, how did you feel? Actually, very, really easy. It's really easy to use, um, and I think what's lovely about it is you're moving and you're getting benefit from these movements, and you don't realise it. You nearly want to increase the tempo, um, thinking that you're maybe not working as hard as you should be. So, really, it really demonstrates the importance of movement uh, and physical movement, and that then can be adapted to your own ability. Um, so, I think very easy, and I think it's a lovely, bright, um, positive atmosphere here, which is lovely. It's not a, a dark gym. It's, it's full of light, um, lovely, welcoming colours here, um, and I think it'll be a lovely space for the local community. And there's a whole social aspect to it as well, isn't there? Yeah, our physical health is really important, but that helps our mental health as well. But even, I think, a bigger <laughs> benefit is the people you meet and that social network and just having a cup of tea and a chat afterwards. And we all know we always don't always feel like exercising early on cold mornings like this. But when you know that you're going to be meeting a group of friends at an event like this and it's non-judgmental and it's a lovely, welcoming facility, you'll turn up uh, and uh, you'll, you'll do the work and you'll, you're getting physical and mental um, benefits out of that. So I suppose the person whose passion and determination and research of the best machines on the market, as you kept saying to me, these are the best machines on the market that brought them, David, the best machines on the market that brought them to Mayo is Martina, is Martina Calvi. And I asked Martina to say a few words. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. And uh, just to say, you're very welcome. And I just have a few words to add on to Cora's message there. First of all, I want to thank the Minister for taking time out of her busy schedule to be here today, because today is a very significant day for us, for myself and Seamus, and particularly for the Mulroy family. Today is their dad's birthday, so we set aside this day for the official opening. And we remember today those very values that Joe Mulroy instilled in his family in continuing on their family business. And it was those very value values that brought me to Cora the first day that I came to explain the concept myself and Seamus had designed and the franchise that I was trying to explain to people and you know, find the right people for the first hub. And what I found in the Mulroys and the creation of what's here today, I know that I found the right people. And I'm so delighted the first hub is here in Castle Leisure with the Mulroy family. As Cora said, they're a family business. And I come from a family business background myself. So ideally, I really loved that it was a family business. But what was really touching about the Mulroys, whilst they run successful businesses, and of course businesses run from the head, for the Mulroys, 
they run their business from the heart. Their concern and care for the clients and people who were using the swimming pool and their gym. Their familiarity with the needs and wants of those people. And their worry that when they'd close the pool, what would happen to those people. And that really got me. I really thought these are the right people. They align with my own values. I suppose before I, I hand over, I just want to make a special note to our staff down there who have been exceptional in the week we've just put in, which has been an exceptional week. So thank you so much, guys. Um, and then to the guys behind it that made this reality, which really was John, Jer and Shane. And, um, and together then with Martina, of course, and Seamus take coming to us with the idea. Um, it was just a gathering of a lot of people pulling together all of the one way. Excuse me, I'm, I, I'm suffering from a bit of a throat. Um, so without further ado, folks, as I say, thank you for taking your time out of, I know, busy schedules that everybody has um, this bad morning. Um, I just want to take this opportunity and thank once again, as Cora said, um, for attending this morning, but take this opportunity to introduce to you um, our Government Chief Whip, Minister of State, the Department of Health, with responsibility for public health, well-being and the National Drug Strategy, our TD Minister, Hildegard Nocton. Delighted to be here in Castle Bar this morning and this wonderful, new, bright, open, positive uh, facility. Um, I was speaking to my colleague, uh, Deputy Alan Dillon, uh, say a number of weeks ago, um, and he was talking to me about this really exciting facility that I just had to see here uh, in Castle Bar. And I have to say, just from my, my few brief sessions on the equipment, it's very easy, very accessible, and really good fun, I have to say. Um, and I just want to finish by thanking um, Martina Calvi and Seamus Davitt from uh, Hello Good Life Health and Wellbeing Hub, uh, David Heathcote uh, from uh, Inerva UK, and Cora and Breda Mulroy and all of the Mulroy family, the owners of this really beautiful gym and leisure centre. Um, and to thank the local representative, the president of the Chamber of Castle Bar as well. And I think it's not just what health and fitness, and it, this is a business, it's a family business. Um, we in government want to continue to support businesses like this right across the country um, and continue that engagement with you, um, particularly through the cost of living um, crisis that is ongoing and we will continue to engage with you in relation to that. Do I say it's officially opened? <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs>